So in an attention economy, where information is hyperabundant, when attention is scarce, and attention is power, nothing wants to be boring, and everything wants to be entertainment. News as entertainment gets your attention. Food as entertainment. These are from uh, Vespertine, the new number one restaurant in Los Angeles. Spectacular. You don't even know you could eat them. <laughs> Hunger as entertainment. The biggest loser, a big hit around the world. Shopping as entertainment. This is the uh, Nike town uh, in London. It's like a theater, a theme park. Science as entertainment. Anti-science as entertainment. Architecture as entertainment. That's the Lucas Museum of Narrative, which will rise a uh, hundred yards from here. That's the Motion Picture Academy that some of you will visit uh, a museum on a field trip right, right next to LACMA. That is the new portion of this museum. Politics as entertainment. You know what's coming. Uh, there was a story in the New York Times during the primaries, uh, which stayed with me. Uh, it was about, I'll, I'll read this, because some of you can't see it. Uh, it was during the primaries, Clinton and Sanders were fighting it out, and uh, a reporter asked someone at a Democratic rally, who are you for? Well, uh, uh, he said uh, he'd much prefer Trump to Clinton. Though he said he disagreed with some of Trump's policies, he added that he had watched The Apprentice and expected that a Trump presidency would be more exciting than a boring Clinton administration. A dark side of me wants to see what happens if Trump is in. There is going to be some type of change, and even if it's a Nazi type change, people are so drama filled. They want to see stuff like that happen. It's like reality TV. You don't want to just see everybody be happy with each other. You want to see someone fighting somebody. Looks like he got his wish.